Welcome to uh, first cultural event at Japan Center uh, at a Palatka University in Olomouc. Today, I would like to talk about Hanami, how the Japanese people enjoy the cherry blossom season. Today, I would like to talk about what is Hanami, history, sakura, something special, the current cherry blossom viewing. So what is Hanami? Hanami means viewing flowers. If you write in uh, Japanese, it's like Hanami. Hana means flower and Mi means see or watch. And it's a celebration of spring. Okay, I would like to ask you to the audience, which flower do people or do Japanese view for Hanami? Is it number one, number two, or is it number three? Ha Thank you very much for your response. Uh, I can see that uh, a lot of people are voting for number three, but also I see that there is some people voting for two. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the answer. I will uh, inform you in the next slide. Okay, I would like to talk a little bit about history. Uh, during the Nara period, Nara era, the plum tree uh, was uh, viewed for Hanami. And it's this was number two. Uh, because Kentoshi uh, is a Japanese envoy to Tang Dynasty China, they brought this culture Hanami from China to Japan. So in China, they built plum trees. So that's why uh, at the time, Japanese were also viewing plum trees. But later in the Heian period, uh, Japanese start to view in sakura, and it became a Japanese original culture. At the time, the high uh, so social status, such as uh, imperial or uh, aristocracy, were viewing flowers with the appreciation, and they enjoy viewing trees, and they made or read the poetry of the tree. Now, why sakura? Why we start viewing sakura instead of a plum tree? Because the sakura was treated as a holy tree. Uh, because at the time, the people believed that God dwells in the sakura, cherry tree. Also, for farmers, sakura was important because it was the sign of the spring. Uh, when the sakura start where cherry blossoms start blooming, it, it means that for them it's a starting the farming season. So they pray for expel an evil for a good harvest. So it was more a religious, religious meaning for the farmers. And later in the uh, 12th century, uh, barriers start viewing uh, cherry blossoms. And finally, in 18th century, commoners start also enjoy uh, viewing sakura, cherry blossom. And at the time, they start viewing like as a ledger. So they start eating uh, under the tree, trees. Okay, uh, what is, what, what kind of flower is sakura? Sakura, uh, it blooms for a very short time. It blooms for five or two, seven days. Uh, unlike the tree, the tree lives, uh, lives for, can live, live for a couple of hundred, hundreds of years, but flowers, con contrast, contrary, it's bloom for a very short time. And also when 
there are blooming in the tree. There is no leaf. There's only small flowers with a light pink color. And for the scent, uh, if you pass by the tree, you don't really feel the scent. But if you're among the thousands of trees, uh, you feel a slight faint scent uh, with a light breeze, uh, which you feel very more precious. And also, uh, the this flower and leaves are eatable. Uh, I will mention about this uh, later in our, in my presentation. And also, the sakura trees uh, start blooming when the new life is starting, which is in spring. Uh, now, I would like to uh, show you or share you uh, three most famous places for sakura in Japan. There are quite a lot, but I chose three, which I think is uh, famous, quite famous for. <clears throat> one is the Hirosaki Park, which is up north. Uh, one is Takao Joshi Park, which is like in the middle of the main island, and uh, Mount Yoshino. I would like to talk about Mount Yoshino. Uh, this is one of the most famous places for a cherry blossom. And there are 30,000 wild cherry trees, and it covers whole mountain. The history is that uh, when founder of uh, Shugendo uh, prayed for the Komozao Gyogen, it's a Buddha unique to Japan, it's the, one of the religions. And uh, he craved uh, this Buddha uh, with a wild cherry tree, and he worship, worshipped it. So after that, since then, the believer of this religion start to uh, plant the cherry trees as a donation uh, because they want to prove their faith in, in this religion. And now it's covered whole mountain. And this is also uh, very unique because uh, in this mountain, you can see uh, almost all kinds of uh, trees, uh, cherry blossom trees that you it exist in Japan. And next one is Takao Joshi Park. Uh, Takao Joshi Park, uh, a castle was uh, demolished by the abolition of the Han system in 1871. And the trees uh, in the castle were auctioned off and sold off, and it became the wild land. So the former uh, feudal lord planted cherry, uh, cherry trees so that it can maintain this place as a park. Uh, now there is a 15,000 cherry, uh, 1,500 cherry blossoms in this park. So it's quite nice park. And uh, this is a Hirosaki Park. It's the one which uh, was is in uh, up north. Uh, here there are 2,600 sakura trees. And uh, this is quite common or popular for Japanese because um, they, the cherry blossoms are blooming um, during this golden week, which is the, one of the biggest national holidays, which last, can be last for a week, so that they can go there for a vacation and enjoy the cherry blossom. And also, this is also uh, um, popular because you can see the sakura and the castle. Uh, you can see the castle between or between this uh, sakura, as you can see in this picture. Now, uh, in next this slide, I would like to uh, show you uh, the video of these three places. I hope you will enjoy.
hope you enjoy it. Okay, something special. I would like to talk about some traditional Japanese sweets. Uh, this is a uh, hanami dango, or it is also called sanshoku dango. Sanshoku dango means a uh, three colored dango. Uh, so it's a, a sweet rice dumpling. And uh, there is um, several theories uh, behind this or about this dango, but today I would like to share you one of it. And it's uh, according to these colors. Uh, it said that this shows uh, represent the season. So the pink color, as maybe you can guess, uh, it's spring, the color of sakura. White, it's snow, winter. And the green one, it's um, Japanese, Mop word, uh, it represents the summer. So it's a, this dango, and also I would like to share, uh, introduce you another sweet. Uh, it's sakura mochi. Uh, this is my favorite uh, sweet during this period that I would like to eat. Uh, this is a glutinous rice with sweet red bean bean paste inside and it's wrapped with a salted uh, cherry blossom leaf. Uh, so uh, when I eat this, I feel like that uh, I can see that uh, the spring has come and also by eating this, I feel like uh, I can feel that the spring has come and I can enjoy my spring. And for sakura mochi, this is called Dai Myoji Sakura Mochi, which you can see in Kansai area. Uh, Kansai area is uh, where um, Osaka or Kyoto, Nara is located. And in Kanto area, where, um, if you are in Tokyo or um, Yokohama or somewhere there near Tokyo, you, then you might see different types of sakura mochi. This is a chomeji. So I would like to introduce this, but this was the traditional one. But we also have uh, some spe something special for snacks. Uh, this is Kit Kat. Um, Yes, there is KitKat also in Czech Republic, but during this uh, spring season or uh, cherry blossom season, they start to sell uh, this sakura flavored or sakura related uh, KitKat version. So as you can see in the picture, uh, they, they are uh, colored in light pink or down top uh, on the bottom part, it's little bit yellow, yellowish because uh, it's a sakura kinako flavor. Uh, kinako is a, mm, a powder, a dry soybean powder. So they have some flavor of that. Uh, not only snack, but also cake. Cake is decorated in the spring version or cherry blossom version. So as you can see, the creams are colored in light pink and decorated. Uh, and also, uh, they also decorated with the salted uh, cherry blossom flower. Now, I would like to show, uh, show you, uh, play some songs. Uh, first song, uh, it's a classical uh, song about sakura, cherry blossom. And uh, I hope you will enjoy it.
that was the classic uh, Sakura song that uh, all Japanese uh, learn in uh, primary school. And uh, next songs, uh, I would like to uh, introduce you like pop songs, Japanese pop songs. Uh, during these seasons, if you visit uh, like shopping malls or uh, cafe, then you will he hear these songs at the beginning. Sakura, Sakura, is a part of the special season. Uh, if you will be uh, in Japan during this period, you can see that entire nation celebrates its blooming to welcome the beginning of the spring. Uh, we are not uh, celebrating because the spring has come and enjoy flowers, but because this Sakura also decorate our, our new stage of life. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, our new life tend to uh, start in April. So when the children start going to school, to the kindergarten, to schools, uh, universities, all start in April. So we will have this uh, ceremony that you are entering the new schools. Also, not only for schools, but uh, after you finish your studies and you start working, also your new work will start in April. So we will also have a fun ceremony for that. Also for the workers, um, if you are changing or relocate the work. It's also a lot of people uh, started in April as well. So not only for people who start the new stage, but also the community, you will always have someone, some newcomers in your community. So it means that your whole community is something new. So it's it means that April is something that starts something new. So you have new life. So we are looking forward to it. So all people are happy and all people are rejoiced during this time. Uh, now, actually, I am going to talk about, start talking about Hanami. So if you decide, if you want to plan uh, for Hanami, what do people, what do Japanese check before planning the hanami? Because hanami, it's the ceremony or it's some, 
celebration, but there is not specific dates for it. So how do how can we plan it? Uh, can you guess something? Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit difficult. Okay, so I will show you this picture. The answer is cherry blossom forecast. Uh, like the weather forecast, we have this cherry blossom forecast during this period. Uh, as you can see in the map of Japan, uh, down south in Fukuoka, it starts in uh, April 12th, the date opposite in the checkway. So, mm -hmm. so, and if you go up to the north in Sapporo, it starts, it will uh, bloom in the almost end of April. So, the the flower doesn't bloom at the same time. So that's why we have this forecast. So if you want to plant, you have to go, uh, you can plan according to this forecast. And uh, current cherry blossom viewing. So where do we um, go for cherry blossom? Uh, you can go to a local area where you live. Uh, you can go for a walk and enjoy the trees, but you can also have a picnic. But not all the places allow you to have a picnic, so you have to be careful about that. And also, not only for walking, but you can also view sakura uh, from boat. So there's also uh, something that it's unique. Uh, and some people uh, can, will go to the place uh, with a spectacular view. Uh, this picture, uh, it's, um, it's sakura, but it looks different because uh, this sakura doesn't um, bloom in a tree. Uh, it's called the shiba sakura. Uh, the translation is like a uh, moss hillocks in English, and uh, it's blooming on, on the ground like a grass. So it makes like a pink floral carpet. And also, not very only during the daytime, but I also uh, recommend you to visit at night or during the evening because during this time, uh, Sakura is lighting up. So you can enjoy uh, this illuminated uh, cherry blossoms. Uh, we call it Yozakura. So um, if you, wherever you go, I know that there are a lot of few people like in this picture. Uh, this picture is in Ueno Ueno Park, uh, one of uh, popular place park in the uh, Tokyo for cherry blossom. Uh, there are so many people because uh, all the paths in the park on both sides there are full of sakura trees. So that's why people want to go there when it's fully bloomed. Now, because there are so many people who want to go to Hanami, so if you want to uh, picnic under the tree, uh, what is important item to get a nice spot? Any guess? Can you guess something? Hmm. Okay, uh, the answer is blue seats. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen this in Czech Republic, so I don't think it's you have like this, it's a big plastic seat. Uh, so once you decided the date for Hanami, uh, people usually prepare early in the morning. They go to the park and they put the seat to reserve the place, to secure the place for Hanami. And uh, 
it's not uh, enough just to put the seed on it, but you have someone to watch the place until you start it starting. So <laughs> this picture, uh, people uh, reserve this place uh, the night before, so that's why they are sleeping on it. And uh, if you are working, then uh, usually the younger or in the universities, maybe also usually the junior, the youngest uh, person will be in charge to secure the place. And if you're working, of course, this is your duty. This is your part of your job. So when we start Hanami, uh, picnic on the tree. What do we eat and drink? First, I would like to introduce alcohol. What kind of alcohol we drink? First one is beer. We have a lot of different kind of beers, Japanese beer, like in Czech Republic. And this one, it's a uh, we call it shuhai or sawa, sawa. Uh, this are, uh, these are mixed drink uh, container with contain, containing a base liquor uh, with um, citric fruit juice and sweetener and soda. Uh, it's a little bit sweet, so maybe the ladies prefer to drink this one. And this one is Mm, Japanese alcohol, Nihonshu. Uh, in Czech Republic, you will call it sake, maybe. But you have to be careful when you are in Japan. If you say sake, sake means uh, alcohol in general. So if you say sake, they don't, they wouldn't give you this Japanese alcohol. This one is uh, in a small bottle. So that once you open it, it looks like a cup that you can drink. And they sell it in the vending machines and convenience stores. And we have this high bowl. It's a drink mixed with whiskey and soda. And the last one that I would like to uh, share you is Meshu. Uh, this is a Japanese liquor uh, made by steep. Uh, Steeping ume plums uh, in liquor and sugar. And a lot of people uh, make it home and it has a sweet and sour taste. Now, I would like to talk about food. What do we eat? Uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, in a big uh, park that they allow you to have a picnic under the tree. They sell street foods. So what kind of food, food can you uh, buy? First one is uh, okonomiyaki. It's a, sta uh, it's a Japanese style uh, pancake. Uh, it's a, with flour and water with uh, various toppings. And uh, because you can choose your toppings, um, it's, that's why I think it's called uh, okonomiyaki, and okonomiyaki means uh, whatever you like. And this one is uh, karage. It's a soy uh, sauce flavored uh, Japanese style fried chicken. This one is oden. It's a traditional Japanese dish. Uh, made by uh, simmering various ingredients uh, such as Japanese radish, uh, egg, or deep fried tofu. And this is very good during this period because even though it's uh, spring has come, often it's quite cold. So you want to eat something warm and this is something that makes you warm. So I prefer to eat during the Hanami. Next one is takoyaki. It's octopus flitters or um, octopus dumplings. And this one is yakitori. 
It's a Japanese style mm. squirt chicken. It's like um, barbecue with uh, some soy sauce, made, uh, sauce made out of soy sauce. And the last one, this is my favorite. Uh, it's a boiled green soybean, edamame. Um, you don't need to buy everything, but you can also bring some food. So what kind of food do we prepare? Uh, we can prepare like a lunch box. We can put food in the boxes. Uh, as you can see in the box, uh, we cut in a small pieces so that it's easy to eat and it, it can make a less mess. So for the rice, uh, we make a rice bowl. Uh, this goes uh, onigiri. Uh, it's a white rice uh, with the uh, fillings and wrapped with the um, seaweed, the black one. And inside uh, there are fillings and you can put anything you like. Um, you can put um, uh, flaked tuna with the mayonnaise or you can put bonito flakes or you can put grilled salmon, pickled plums and so on. And this one is inari. You put a sushi rice in a flavored uh, fried bean curd. So the curd is uh, flavored a little bit sweet and inside has a sour taste that it uh, has a unique taste, <laughs> I would say. And recently uh, it became popular this style of rice and it's called onigirazu. It, uh, it looks like a sandwich, but in the rice version. Uh, it's become very popular because it's easy to make, quick to make, and less mess when you make it. And also, uh, wherever you buy it, you always have this in ingredient, like onigiri. So, people will enjoy hanami. On, uh, sakura under the tree, a party on a picnic under the tree, and also not during the daytime only, but also they will enjoy at night. So when you see people, do you recognize, do you notice something? Uh, did you notice that the people are busy talking, eating and drinking and not actually viewing sakura? So in Japan, there is a proverb. It's called uh, hana yori nango. Hana means flower. Yori means rather than or than. And nango, nango is the one that I sh uh, showed you in the previous or uh, in the slide. Uh, there's some sweets. Uh, this means that the people are more interested in the practical over the aesthetic. Uh, I think that's how it is. <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to end the presentation with the video, um, how people enjoy Hanami. Uh, this video is not really a typical one, but I hope you can get some atmosphere or how it looks, uh, Hanami in Japan. So that was it for uh, Hanami. Uh, 
thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have some questions, uh, feel free to ask. And, mm -hmm. and I hope uh, you will enjoy uh, our uh, event because uh, we will have a cultural event uh, every month. Um, due to co coronavirus, I think uh, we will have um, online for time being. But um, if the circuit, uh, if the situation become better, I hope uh, I can see you in person. Thank you very much for uh, being with us, and I hope to see you.